sorry for that little thing, guys. But welcome to Hug Reviews. Or in this case, Reviewing Friends. That means I'll review all my friends that I subscribe to and they will collab with me. And we're going to the least favorite, well, my least favorite, Super Cuphead Productions or SCP video of all time is Bendy Meets PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Now, this is all my opinion. You guys have different opinions, and yeah, you guys just have different opinions. So, without further ado, let's get to the video. And I'll tell you the only thing that made it good. It was Dr. Kirby, because he's the best character in the series. You now you're wondering, why is Super Cuphead Productions making an old video about an old game? Well, a new video about an old game that no one liked. Well, let me tell you the good and the bad. Let's skip a little. Skip, skip, skippy. And we get the roster. What Bendy picked? Because he wanted Crash and Spyro in it, but they didn't have them. Oh, yeah. One player can... Yeah. CPUs. Yeah, you couldn't even get some of your friends to play. Well, I, I wasn't even his friend until, like, 2000 or, like... Well, 14. I mean, not 14, um... Why did I keep saying 14? Until like 2019, we met. Because we were like, because Super Cup Productions was like 2016, and I was in 2017. That's like one year. And I uploaded some crappy content in the past, and he uploaded some pretty good content and some crappy content. But yeah, the only person that made this video good was Dr. Kirby in general, because once again, Dr. Kirby is the best character in the series. Same goes to Carfax or Tommy in his plush in his plush collection. That that I was originally Super Mugman Productions, but uh Yeah, I kinda made some videos like I kinda made like parodies and stuff. But then Super Cup Productions was like, hey, it's fine. Hey, is it okay if I can use these videos to like my videos because well, he thought he was quitting his channel. Oh, yeah, you can't even kill your own self, so you have to get someone else to kill Parappa just to make him come out of the TV screen. And you can obviously see, at one of the points, Parappa's still in there. How the heck, and how the hell did Kirk, Coco get out of the TV screen in that matter of time before, you know, the TV turned off? At that time, it would be half of her body I was stuck in the screen. Because there's no way her whole entire freaking body got through that whole... That whole TV screen. Nothing is funny about this video except Benny ripping off Dr. Kirby's shirt, which is probably one of the most memorable jokes. Now, now the action. There is a lot of action. And I'm not really much of an action fan, but I am more of a violent fan, but I I'm not really more of this. The action is poor. Uh, Prep was just using basic punches and kicks and pushing people on walls. Gets his level one, said it's not a ripoff, yada, yada, yada. He tries to make some good jokes out of it. Dr. Kirby saves the day. It's the least funniest joke that he ever had. And if you do, I will post a video called Dr. Kirby's Funniest Moments if you want to. And you see how funny this guy is. But yeah, you can see markers on the table for some reason. I wonder why. And they're the color of Parappa. Parappa's hat, Parappa's shirt, Parappa's beanie, Parappa, Parappa's frog background yellow, and Parappa's, um, shoes color. Then Bendy goes out. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted by Super Cup Productions or YouTube because I'm only using some of the clips. But yeah, this video was poorly done, and I do not like any of the jokes except for Dr. Kirby's, and it doesn't show up until, like, the end of the video. And Mugman says, why don't I get a happy fall? I, I don't like that. I, I don't like how he says, why don't I get a happy fall? It's more funny when Dr. Curry just leaves and just says, I'm not coming back to this, like, house or something. It's funny. It's funny when Dr. Kirby does it. And I'm sorry if you, any of you guys like Mugman, but I, I hate him so much. But, yeah. No offense. And I think Sonic was the next one who saved the video with his Looney Tunes aesthetic. But he didn't even last that long in the video. He lasts like a whole like 50 seconds and then died. From the easiest person to dodge, 
sack boy. And he gave me these plushies. Yeah, so now he doesn't... Get out of here. Now he doesn't have these plushies anymore. Yeah, he doesn't have them. Because he gave them to me. Oh, yeah, the glitch part? That wasn't supposed to be part of the script. That was actually supposed to be Mugman going out. But he didn't have time to pause it because he was editing. So, yeah, he kind of messed up. But she said it was a glitch. And Sonic should have burned when he came back. Half of the fire was on a spike, so he should have burned to a crisp. Then I won't play the Looney Tunes music because that's another copyright strike. So I'm not going to play it. And you can obviously see a t-shirt. Yep, you can see his t-shirt, but you can't see his face because he has a flashlight on with the camera. So yeah, you couldn't even see his face reveal. You can see his hair, but you couldn't see his face. That was before he had a hat. Well, that was before he used the hat in, like, videos where he shows the mirror. But yeah, he dies from Sackboy, the easiest enemy. Bendy goes out of his way to beat these characters up. He gets level 1 and level 2. Not even his level 3 comes up. Just level 1 and level 4. Nothing else. He throws Spyro, hits Coco. Wait, he hits the materials. Coco blasts off like Sonic, who's dead. Then Bendy does something... Look, let me just put this out there. You can like this video. I, I don't really care if you like the video or not. It's fine. It's fine if you like the video. It's fine. It's no problem. But if you hate the video, I kind of like you a little more because I don't like this video either. And, and, and just for saying this for perspectives, this video has so bad jokes. <clears throat> like... The joke of Bendy killing them, and then his friends coming back to life from the people he killed. So why did all of his friends come back where he defeated everyone except... Wasn't that supposed to be the purpose? Because you saw, like, every character that was killed <clears throat> from, like, their enemy. But you haven't seen all of them. And for some reason, he decides to go after Sackboy when he had an opportunity to kill... He had an opportunity to get a triple kill. But yeah, his level two is grabbing a cup, is grabbing a random person, and should a cup have be dead? Clash literally jumped on him, and we heard him scream, which means that he got killed by one of his levels. And Clash is not even in the game, so what level did he even have? But yeah, he spins him and throws him at Crash and kills Crash, and he's back to the game world. No one returns because. He forgot to edit a, a sparkle, didn't he? Yep. During the rest of this video, when he kills people, he forgot to edit it. Great job. I'm not saying it's bad editing. I'm just saying that how did he forget the most important part of this video? I used like three or six times in a row. I can't count. He kills Sackboy and Parappa. His friends come back. Well, half of his friends come back. Mugman falls. He said, why doesn't he get a happy fall? Dr. Kirby comes up. He gets hit for some reason. And asks why he doesn't get a happy fall. And pass out. Excuse me. Takes on his cousin and leaves. Now, I, I will say this about the video. The video is good. Okay? The quality is good. Everything's good. Everything. The jokes are cool. But the video is bland. It is it is it doesn't take the the sparkle that say like Sonic turns into a girl that was one of his most popular videos probably most why was what can I speak probably his most popular video probably the most funniest video without Doctor Kirby because a lot of these jokes were memorable but unlike Bendy meets PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale none of the jokes are memorable except for Doctor Kirby's jokes. And I guess Sonic's Looney Tunes thing. But that was that's an old joke. No one's not going to remember that joke. Even if he has like 2k subscribers. No one's not going to remember that joke. And no one's going to remember this game. Even if he tries to make everyone remember it. But just remember. This video was made like 5 months ago. This was, a, this was during the time when Super Cup Productions was on retirement. Just know that. This wasn't the time where he got onto retirement. This was the time when he was about to go on retirement. Look, this video is like... How long is this video? 
Let me see. This video is five months old. Five months old. And he thinks someone, he thinks like half of his viewers are going to remember PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale in the next five months. Who's going to remember this game? Unless someone. <coughs> I've been talking a while. Unless Sony releases another version of PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale for the PS5 or PS6, if that even is the thing, then he can make another video. And PlayStation All Stars might be rememberable if they put characters that they wanted in the actual game that were replaced by stupid other characters like Parappa. No, no offense to him, he hasn't been in a game in a while. And Spy, who, who who even knows Spy? Half of the kids are gonna know who Parappa is, but I'm pretty sure like half, like, oh, a couple of kids are gonna remember Parappa. But yeah, this video is bland. Now think of Bendy meets Siren Head. Pleasant joke, pleasant plot, simple plot, simple plot, simple. It can go straight quick to the plot, just like Sonic turns into a girl. It's a simple plot, and a lot of those jokes were memorable. Rememberable. None of these jokes are rememberable. Like I said, Sonic, Sonic's Looney Tunes jokes that's not gonna last that long, and Doctor Kirby's lines that are pretty rememberable, but aren't gonna be rememberable until everyone forgets about this video. And yeah, I don't really think this was his best success. I know he tried so hard. He tried so, so hard to catch this feel that you can just feel these characters just coming back. But, but, but it just doesn't work. I mean, feeling making this game come back, it just, it just doesn't work. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't work. Nothing works, and sorry for that voice crack too, but nothing works to make this game alive. And you saw that the TV went black and somehow Coco came out of the TV as soon as it came black. She shouldn't even come out of there. She should have just been stuck in the game. But hey, Super Cuphead Productions logic, nothing happens. Everything just happens, right? But yeah, I guess I'll give this video a 1 out of 10. What? A 1.7 out of 10. This was probably the worst video I have ever seen from this guy. And he has made so many better videos. Even some of the future videos that I might review. And President Jeremy is one of them. And I hate Jeremy as a character. I hate Mugman, but I think I like Mugman a lot more than Jeremy. He's just another success to make another Jeffy. Yeah, he's just a second Jeffy. But no, Super Cup Productions Productions thinks, no, we shouldn't make too many videos about Jeremy. Let's just put him in some of the videos and just make him like the most annoying character ever. Yeah, I'm not getting mad at this guy. I'm just saying that <clears throat> this dude could have done a really better job at putting the plot into the grave. Better plot, better story, better telling. And the, pl and the, and the plot is so slow. The story goes so slow. That's why I get to 1.7 out of 10. The plot is so slow. It's too fast. And sometimes the plot just disappears. And that mostly comes from Cuphead's part where he supposed to die, but he doesn't die. The plot is Bendy wants these characters to come to life. Then Dr. Kirby comes, spits on the TV, funniest joke ever. But it's not going to be remembered because this video is not going to be remembered either. And then <sighs> Dr. Kirby spits on the TV, characters come to life somehow. And then they start beating him up. So, the plot basically just gets broken. It's not even, like, the ending plot. So, think of Sonic turns into a girl. Think of that. Or, Bendy meets Siren Head. They almost have the exact same ending. Just with different plots and different story. The story goes fast with Bendy meets Siren Head. And, and Sonic turns into a girl. It goes a little too slow, but it kind of goes quick, too. When he turns into a girl. <coughs> Excuse me? Well, I didn't even sneeze. But yeah, the plot goes so fast. A, a glow girl has been hearing strange siren noises outside. Boom. Siren head. Bendy has a nightmare. Boom wakes up. And then it was a dream. Boom. I mean, you could tell it's a dream because wouldn't all the characters be dead? I mean, like, how would they meet Siren Head? I mean, I know Bendy's scary and all, but Siren Head is a lot more scary than Bendy. 
So how would he? So wouldn't Bendy be able to destroy him instead of running like a wimp? And also, I will be reviewing um another video that I think is the um the 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 second worst video to Super Cuphead Productions or I guess Mugman Productions because it's my video. But he, I but I gave them to him. It was just supposed to be a parody, but they came real episodes. <clears throat> I think I do some of the voices pretty good, didn't I? Yeah, I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say, oh, well, you guys are just the same person. You guys are the same person. You're just trying to make everyone get fooled. We're not the same people, okay? We have different environments. And actually, if you want to know, I live with Super Cuphead Productions. Yeah, I live with him. The exact same room. And sometimes, I'm gone. Like, I'm not even here. But yeah, Super well, I, I kind of moved out of his house now. Well, not really. I'm still in his house, though. Yeah, I'm sorry this video is a little too long. But, <clears throat> President Jeremy isn't any better. And I'm going to talk about probably the most funniest video. Like, the second funniest video to Super... To, um, Benny... I mean, Sonic turns into a girl. Because the plot is straight. Sonic turns to a girl. Everyone simps over him. Just like she does, eh? And, and then Sonic wants to turn you back to a girl. Boris can't do it. Reports it to the news. Everyone re gets reported. And then Steve wants to have hedgehog babies. Hedgehog human babies with Sonic. And then Sonic just goes with the flow. Simp on Bendy. Cause fan art. Cause fan art. This plot's been going on for too long. And then boom. They both kiss and boyfriend. It's not even girl form. If it was girl, girl phone, it would be okay. But if it was boy phone, that's just straight up gay. That's not even perfect. <clears throat> but yeah. The plot kind of continues on Bendy's storyline. But I think, this I think that ep video, episode, whatever you want to call it, had the best and decent jokes in Super Cuphead Productions history. And I think nothing could top that. Even if Super Cuphead Productions did trick us to have a Sonic turns into a girl too. Yeah, there was supposed to be a sequel. <clears throat> and it wasn't even April Fool's Day. <sighs> he tricked us. We didn't get a Sonic turns into a girl. N two. We did not get a sequel. So Sonic turns into a girl is just going to be stuck in our minds for as long as we remember this channel. Or as long as we live. So hopefully he will make... Sonic turns into a girl, too. I would really, really adore a sequel to a popular video. Just imagine the views. You get, like, three videos with, like, one, like, 1,000 or 10,000 views. I don't know how many views the original got. But all I know is that the original got praise. <clears throat> So yeah, please Super Cuphead Productions. The next time when you upload a video where you say you're gonna upload Sonic to, to a girl too and give us trailers, make it real and even make a, a, a make, even make another sequel. But please do not make a sequel to PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale or Bendy meets PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Don't even make Jeremy or Mugman meet it. Just don't even bring this series back. <clears throat> Cause Bendy is turning to my worst character ever. And I'll go over the characters, too. And Dot the Kirby is my favorite character in Carfax, too. So they're in the number one spot. My next character is Parappa. It's because I love the Parappa series. And I think Super Cuphead Productions doesn't even have, like, Cuphead on the Xbox or Nintendo Switch. But he does have it on the PS4, I think. Well, not yet. <clears throat> his brother does, but... Well, his brother doesn't have it either, so, Yeah. And the only reason why you're just saying, why do you keep checking on your stuff? I I'm just trying to make sure there's no, like, comments about dating apps and stuff. Because they happen on my videos, but they don't happen on Cup Super Cuphead Productions videos. The most popular plush Cuphead channel ever. Besides people who just make Cuphead, a Cuphead series and they just, it's a FNAF series. Shut up. <clears throat> But yeah, video gets 1.7 out of 10. I'll, I'll review Sonic Turns to a Girl. And I'm just going to give you my rating. What? Infinity out of 10. Just the best video ever. I'll see you guys in the next 
friend re review review friends or hub reviews, whatever name you want to call it. You just tell me in the comments down below. If the comments get turned off on this video, just tell me on my on any other video, and I'll and whoever get and whoever gets the most likes on that comment will become the name of the series. It's either friend reviews or review friends or hub reviews. Either one of them. Just comment down below. And whoever gets the most likes, then that's the name of the series. Hub reviews or review friends. I kind of like hub reviews. Bye.